At first glance, this photograph does not seem to be about the Holocaust. This is a woman in a sundress, perhaps on vacation, uh, with her hair done and smiling for the camera. Her name at the time was Mrs. Ryan, but the inmates at Majdanek and Ravensbrück knew her in a different context and by other names. At Majdanek, they referred to her as the Stomping Mare. And her real name was Hermina Braunsteiner. And she had worked as a guard in two Nazi concentration camps. And Hermina Braunsteiner was not just a regular guard. She was a guard who was known for her exceptional cruelty. Survivors of Majdanek remember her stomping older women prisoners with steel-toed boots, throwing children by their hair into trucks bound for the gas chambers, and whipping female prisoners. Hermina Braunsteiner served as one of the female auxiliaries of the SS, called an Aufseherin, which probably translates best to female overseer. Her role was to guard prisoners, female prisoners, in concentration camps. And she'd volunteered for the job. She was born in 1919 in Vienna. Her family wasn't particularly wealthy and she wasn't very well educated. And the opportunity came to work as a guard for the SS. It seemed like a great career move. She jumped on the opportunity and went to Ravensbrück, where she trained. She worked as a guard in Ravensbrück, a primarily female concentration camp, for about three years before she was transferred to Majdanek concentration camp in German-occupied Poland. Majdanek also had a large gas chamber, and many prisoners were murdered there and in mass shooting operations. The prisoners of Majdanek were Jews and Poles for the most part. It was at Majdanek that she earned her infamous reputation. In 1944, Hermina was transferred back to Ravensbrück, and as the Soviet army approached in 1945, she fled back to Vienna. In Austria, she was tried for war crimes committed at Ravensbrück, served a very brief sentence, and then went back to a normal life. Met an American man, eventually settled in Queens, New York, and took this photograph. But her crimes at Majdanek had not been forgotten. Her identity was uncovered in part thanks to the work of Nazi hunter Simone Wiesenthal. She was extradited to West Germany where she stood trial for the crimes that she had committed at Majdanek. She was convicted and sentenced to many years in prison. She was released for medical reasons in the 1990s and died a few years later. This photograph reminds us that many different people from many walks of life became Nazi perpetrators. It also reminds us about the importance of the relentless pursuit of justice. <laughs>